The FEMA report from May of 2002 mentions that a video shows molten material pouring out of the South Tower just before it collapsed. I asked the person who took the video if I could buy a copy of it, but he refused. I assumed that FEMA was pretending that it was molten material in order to fool us into thinking the fires were incredibly large. So, on page 38 of my book, Painful Questions, I wrote that the stream of molten material was probably body fluids from the dead people. Now that this video has finally been released to the public, we can see that a molten material did indeed pour out of the tower. The people who defend the official story will claim that this is molten aluminum caused by the fires in the tower. But Professor Stephen Jones of Brigham Young University has proven that this is molten iron from thermite or thermate. There are several reasons that Professor Jones can state with certainty that this is molten iron from thermate rather than molten aluminum. One reason is that aluminum does not glow this bright, as he demonstrated in experiments before he was forced into early retirement by university officials. Another reason is that he obtained a sample of the material and analyzed it. It turned out to be iron, not structural steel or aluminum. The only way to explain this stream of molten iron is that several tons of thermite were placed in the tower or the airplane. The white smoke is also an indication of thermite. The molten iron cools as it falls through the air, but it continues to glow brightly which is a sign that there are tons of iron in this stream.